Python functions. So, Mike, I was saying the other time, you use page pattern to add life to HTML, normal HTML uh, pages. Do you understand? Like, you had some dynamic nature. Do you know what dynamic means? When you say something is dynamic, you know what it means? Now, dynamic in this sense is the opposite of static. Do you know what static means? What does static mean? Huh? It's in one spot. Yeah, it is in one spot. So dynamic now means if something that has the tendency to change. Do you understand? Same tendency to change or to move, to change position or to move. You know, that's what dynamic means. Do you understand? So page pattern allows it, it to become seamless. So that your page can easily change easily that's what dynamic means so page integration page that's exactly what page cut functions are so um the motive is for the block to be suitable sorry for the theme to be suitable for what is inside the theme repository which is either blog corporate site e-commerce personal uh, are different kind. There are different different kinds of uh, theme categories that are on the page cut on to theme repository, which is this one. You see, we have coming soon. We have personal website. We have corporate business. We have blog. We have e-commerce. E-commerce is any site that have something to sell, selling, buying, or selling. A site a site where you can sell something in e-commerce. Then blog is like the one we downloaded just now. It's a site where people come to learn about a particular topic. So you, uh, as a blog, somebody creating a blog will be writing about something or a specific or some set of things. So it could be politics, it could be anything and all that. So that's what that is trying to say. Then uh, your corporate site is a website for an organization. A corporate organization like a business, a non-profit, blah blah blah. Then your personal website is a website for an individual. If the website is focused on an individual, then it's a personal website. Then it should be generic. While it is focused on a particular thing, it's also generic. Just like there are different kinds of blog. Okay, so it's not like you not do a, a, a theme for politics blog. No, your theme should be generic. Like. Uh, somebody can use it for generic, they can use it for fashion, they can use it for anything. The templates you downloaded may be may not be generic, but you have the when you're while you're creating that thing, make it as generic as you can. Do you understand? So that it can be useful. The reason being that page cartoon things are not as plenty right now. So we want to ensure that just one thing we created can be used for plenty purposes. Do you understand? then all the theme contents must be editable using the website wizard remember how we used to um design a website by just click on new website wizard right you click on new website wizard and you can finish from top to bottom now everything on your website must be editable to using that method that's the purpose of what we are doing actually so that normally anything in the theme can be edited using any purpose but for this particular, for this particular uh, thing we're doing, this purpose is that people can edit it easily using the wizard. They can add content, change all the content using the wizard. Do you understand? So, um, that's. That's this part. Just to find out the purpose, and I think we are done with that. The next is to update content now. Let me stop this one.